the United States is finally lifting the arms embargo on Vietnam. The sale of lethal weapons can now begin decades after the end of the Vietnam War in 1975. President Obama, who was visiting the communist state, said that the two nations have developed a level of trust and cooperation. With all our defense partners, sales will need to still meet strict requirements, including those related to human rights. But this change will ensure that Vietnam has access to the equipment it needs to defend itself and removes a lingering vestige of the Cold War. Vietnam had long lobbied for the embargo to end. The move by Obama is being seen as an attempt to counter China's growing dominance in the region. China and Vietnam are locked in a territorial dispute over a chain of islands in the South China Sea. China is also at odds with Japan over the Senkaku Islands. This is Obama's first trip to Vietnam, but it is his tenth to Asia, as he also looks to strike up trade deals, and it's off to a good start. Boeing and airline Vietjet struck an $11.3 billion deal for 100 planes. The low-cost carrier will take delivery of the Boeing 737s from 2019. Obama is also expected to talk up the importance of the Trans-Pacific Partnership, a trade deal that has yet to pass Congress. After Vietnam, President Obama will attend the G7 meeting in Japan and also become the first U.S. president to visit Hiroshima. Phil Hahn. CNBC.